<coughs> this is example number five. We have we have to find the demagnetizing and cross magnetizing amperetor pole. And uh, data is given to you as it is a 250 volt, 500 kilowatt, 8 volt DC generator with a lap pound uh, with this, which is having 480 conductors. Uh, so we have to find the demagnetizing and cross magnetizing amperetor per pole. If the brush are given a forward shift of 7.5 degree mechanical, which is important. So, uh, in the uh, just before, I have given the formula for uh, remagnetizing and cross magnetizing amperetor pole. It is the same question based on that. So, uh, before that, I will write down demagnetizing and, and Cross magnetizing and pattern per pole uh, formula, and we we'll proceed to the question. We have started this formula that is z by p into ic and beta by 180 degrees. This is for Demagnetizing and pattern per pole that is Z by P into IC into beta by 180 degrees and for cross magnetizing and pattern per pole the formula is Z by P into IC multiplied by 1 by 2 minus beta by 180 degrees. What is what here? Uh, we will discuss first of all. Uh, Z is the number, Z is the number of conductors, P is the number of poles, IC is the conductor current, not the armature current, and beta is the brush shift in electrical degrees, but it is a constant in this also, everything is same, only the formula is different. Z is number of conductors, P is the number of poles, beta is the brush shift in electrical degrees. Uh, so, First of all, to find this thing, we have to convert this theta mechanical into theta electrical. So, I have also given that formula also. Theta electricals is equal to 2 by P theta mechanical, which is equal to 75 Oh, sorry, it is P by 2, it was by mistake, into P is 8 divided by 2. In the previous session, I, I made a mistake, sorry for that, that it should be theta, electrical should be equal to P by 2 of theta mechanical. So it is 8 by 2, that is coming out to be uh, 30 degrees, 7 to 4, 30 degrees, yes. So now I got this theta beta which is equal to beta now. I got the beta. Now I have to find the IC conductor current. So for that uh, I need to have the armature full load current that is full load IA. How I can find that? <coughs> How I can find that? Since it is a 500 kilowatt uh, DC generator. So, dividing it by 250, I will be getting uh, the uh, IA that is 500 into 1000 divided by 250. I will get IA as 2000 ohm, uh, 2000 amperes. This is full load armature current, but this is not this as in the previous example I said. This is conductor armature current, this is conductor current. So, for that, I see in the previous question also we have found the IC which is equivalent to total armature current divided by the uh, number of parallel paths which is equal to A. So, total armature current is 2000 amperes divided by 
since it is a left bound, again A will be equals to P and P is equals to here is 8. So, conductor current IC would be 250 amperes. So, now I can find, I will write this beta as here, which I found beta electrical is equal to 30 degrees. So, according to this formula, I take this thing. In this, Z is equal to 480, P is the number of poles, which is equal to 8 here, into the conductor current, which is 250 amperes, into beta electrical is 30 degrees, divided by 180 degrees. This will come out to be 2500, uh, 2500 amperes. This is my first answer. Now coming to this part, which is equal to Z on P I C half of beta by 180. I will again put the values and solve this thing. From here, I will be getting Z is equal to 480 conductors are there. And P is the number of poles, which is again 8 multiplied by IC is the current, which was in a previous state was 250. I found it by IA divided by A, which is number of parallel parts, into multiplied by half of minus beta is again. 30 degrees divided by 180 degrees and by solving this I will get cross magnetizing ampere turn per pole and after solving this whole I will be getting the thing as 5000 ampere turns. So, for demand design, the ampere turns per pole is 2500 ampere turns per pole, and here also it is per pole, that is 5000 ampere turns per pole.